very much. Uh, I don't have to say much thing after the lucid presentation by Dr. Rajesh, uh, but I'm just going to share the data of first 200 cases uh, of kidney transplantation. Uh, we started uh, the surgery since to, uh, surgery of robotic kidney transplantation since 2013, and uh, till uh, the month of uh, December, we carried out 230 transplant. Uh, and I think uh, this is probably one of the largest series which we have. We got uh, inspiration to perform the robotic surgery because we could carry out 177 laparoscopic kidney transplant and then we made it possible that yes, a minimally invasive surgery in uh, transplantation is possible and then robot assistant is easier for teaching and uh, so that many more surgeons could carry out. These are the few papers where we have shown the feasibility of carrying out the laparoscopic uh, kidney transplant. Initially, we did it four cases. The operative time was significantly higher, especially the vascular anastomosis. But the long-term results are equal in all the patients. Uh, we also put a technique of an block kidney transplant when we procure the organ from a deceased donor. So both the kidneys are uh, procured, the upper end of the aorta was sutured and the lower end of the aorta and vena cava were anastomosis with the uh, external iliac vessels and graft functions nicely. So that's the paper which we, we uh, presented in Indian Journal of Urology. And finally, in 72 cases of a laparoscopic uh, kidney transplant which we published uh, in transplantation. We have demonstrated that the operative time, especially the vascular anastomotic time, is significantly higher compared to the open kidney transplant. And however, and the creatine clearance, initial creatine clearance is slower, but the data clearly shows that up to four years of follow-up of this patient, there was no difference in the function of the graft as well as the, uh, the patient survival was concerned. So we started uh, with the internal review board and uh, permission, we started the program in 2013 with the uh, help of Vertiquity Foundation. Uh, there were exclusion criteria when the kidneys are large occupying the whole abdomen. Uh, we can't do the robotic surgery uh, until unless we do uni or bilateral nephrectomy uh, prior to the transplantation. A previous major abdominal surgery, of course, is a contraindication because you lose a lot of time for the additional lysis and there is no advantage of the operation. Uh, compromised cardiovascular uh, and respiratory status, which is very, very important. Many of these patients are having a low ejection fraction because of the uremic uh, uh, myocarditis and uremic pericardial effusion. Uh, they often come quite late in our setup uh, and uh, aggressive dialysis for several weeks and months also do not improve them too much. So these patients have been excluded for such type of cases. And uh, when the severe atherosclerosis of the vessels is present, especially in a diabetic old recipients, uh, we would not like to take chance because often they have a coronary and other, other uh, disease. And we know that transplant is to be carried out in a steep trending position where the cerebral blood flow could be affected. And uh, um, there are papers, of course, the radical prostatectomy is done out in a similar fashion. But then the, we are concerned about uh, the injury to the eye, vision, as well as the cerebral blood flow. So that's why we have excluded this group of patients. So between January 2013 and October 2015, we actually did 203 robotic kidney transplant um, and 258 open kidney transplant. So these are the data. Uh, uh, living donor and adult patients uh, are 140. Deceased donor 21 in this group here, there's 47. Mostly here the surgeon is not available to carry out the deceased donor transplant because uh, he's busy with the other transplant also. And the pediatric cases means less than 18 years of age, between eight years to 18 years of age, we have introduced the robotic surgery and we found, uh, let us see that how it is useful. And recently, we introduced the kidney through the vagina and carry out the robotic kidney transplant in 19 cases. Uh, there is no difference in a demography of a open, uh, the living donor nephrectomy and uh, open kidney transplant. All the living donor nephrectomy at my center 
are carried out by the multiple surgeons and by retroperitoneoscopic approach. We don't go transperitoneal approach. Uh, and there is a difference in the, this gender difference because we have excluded the data of those patients, uh, 19 patients who have uh, insertion of the kidney through the vagina and carrying out robotic kidney transplant. Otherwise, there was no difference. If you see this data, like uh, we are, when we started our program, we, the robot, when robot was introduced to the institution, we never had a, uh, um, a training, formal, clear-cut, good training about robotic surgery. Just I had a 10-day course uh, carried out at uh, uh, Buffalo Roswell Park Cancer Hospital to carry out the robotic surgery on a uh, plastic models and in dry lab that is and also in a wet lab where I carried out experiment where did a autonephrectomy and did a um, uh, transplant in a pelvic with the pelvic vessel in a pig. It was a 200 pound female pig when uh, it was successful transplant except that uh, uh, we need to change the, the position of uh, uh, docking position and uh, the animal need to be shifted in a different position and then uh, but then there was a urine output at the end of a hundred minutes over hundred minutes of vascular anastomosis and rewarming time the kidney was remaining inside the abdomen but we could find that that was a success so then after we carried out this and probably that may be the reason our anastomic time probably is much higher than what uh, dr rajesh halawat has uh, suggested there is a learning curve this is a cumulative data and then the open kidney transplant, there is a, a lesser anastomotic time, ureteric reimplantation time, blood loss, and the total operating time. Everything is higher in a robotic uh, kidney group compared to the open kidney group uh, in our setup. Uh, if we, however, see the immediate post-operative data, uh, let me say we have a four conversion team date, and all conversions are secondary to the hemorrhage. Uh, in one case, uh, the, in a three case, uh, the uh, conversion was secondary to the arterial bleeding, while in one case uh, it was a venous bleeding, which is, uh, we found uh, it was difficult to treat. Uh, it was, there was actually a tear in the renal vein while shifting the kidney, and then that was the reason why we immediately converted to the open uh, case. All the graft salvage, all the patient salvage, and all the graft function very nicely. There was no delayed graft function in either of the conversion. Uh, as far as uh, the data of operative, this is concerned, the morphine equivalent analgesic is much less. Uh, the time to resume orally is very late, is also less, but not so statistically significant. Time to ambulation is much earlier. Time to catheter removal is similar in both the group because we have protocol to take it out early catheter. We never use stent in open as well as in a robotic transplant. So there is no question about uh, use of stent and place. Uh, so we, because our transplant, uh, we do about 350 to 400 kidney transplant a year. And that means addition of a 300 cystoscopy per year is too much burden to the institution and a, te a sound technique has developed uh, and uh, we have uh, no problem as far as the uh, avoiding the stand is concerned and overall hospital stay which varies in a patient to patient but average around 13 uh, days in that's not a different. As I mentioned there are four complications, I mean four conversion to the open, three had a urinary leak similar in both the group, renal vein thrombosis has uh, been uh, found in one case and that graph was lost, it was very early in our transplant, laparoscopic renal biopsy was required in one patient, that was a right graft when we try to flip it on the psoas muscle, typically the graft is placed into the pelvic cavity, we do the vascular anastomosis and then the graft is flipped on the psoas muscle. But when it was a right graft and very short right renal vein, so when we try to do, th uh, then we found that there is a kinking of a renal artery and if we would have left it, probably there is ischemic necrosis of the graft would have happened, so we put it back into the pelvic cavity. Unfortunately, that patient later on required a biopsy, so we uh, went to the laparoscopic biopsy. In this case, it was successful without any problem. Uh, lymphocil occurred in none of the patient, while in 14 patient of open kidney transplant, there was a lymphocil. Uh, out of that, one required deroofing and other patients treated conservatively. 
Re-exploration for perigraph collection required in four patients of an open kidney transplant. Basically, it's a, because of the hemorrhagic collection rather than anything else, and none in case of the uh, robotic kidney transplant. If we see the data of a graft survival, Kaplan may occur up to the two and a half years of follow-up now, and patient survival, they are pretty overlapping each other. There is no difference in, a, in a, uh, this group of patients. As far as the disease donor kidney transplant is concerned, there is a one, it's a, both the kidneys came to the institution, so that one kidney goes for the, preferably the right kidney goes for the open kidney transplant. There's a bias about it because it's a short particle and then the band surgery has been carried out to make the renal vein longer. And the left kidney goes for the robotic kidney transplant. But when the, the availability of the surgeon is not there, both the kidneys go for the open kidney transplant. And this is uh, not, uh, there is no difference in gender. And in this also, if we see the EGFR assessment, after one year there is slightly fall in EGFR in a, in a robotic group compared to the open group, but it is not statistically significant difference. One year graft survival is equal in both the patients. And this is the uh, kaplan mir curve for the graft survival as well as the patient survival. We had one early loss of the patient secondary to the pneumonitis. Uh, nothing to, uh, maybe the question is whether the steep trending bar position is uh, responsible for the lung clearance uh, because it was a very early part and the operative time was quite prolonged. We had a lot of debate and uh, the pneumonia was in the upper zone, uh, unexpected place. Probably longest uh, trending bar position has given rise to the pneumonia or not that was debated. However, the IERB was kind enough to continue the same program and then after we never found such type of complication in any other case, maybe the experience has increased and the fluid restriction has really helped us out in reducing such complications. Uh, as far as pediatric and adolescent renal transplant, there is a question especially rather than the pain, probably the cosmetic appearance is the most important in this age group and the parent satisfaction is also very, very important. So uh, we have a data now, the mean average is around 13 years and 14 years, there is no <coughs> difference in open. Now, nowadays, the robotic kidney transplant is more often asked by the parents rather than the open kidney transplant number has reduced significantly. Uh, same finding, almost anastomotic time, uretric reimplant time, blood loss and total operative time, if you see, is much higher in a robotic group, but overall the outcome are similar. Uh, I think EGFR and uh, the graft survival is similar in both the group. Uh, from in conclusion, robotic kidney transplant is having advantage uh, of the reduced blood loss, less pain, early ambulation and no lymphocele or no perigraft collection in our series compared to the open kidney transplantation. It is, phase, it is uh, feasible and safe in adult and in older children and graft and patient survival equivalent in both, both the group of the patient when we do the the deceased donor kidney transplant or we do the living donor <coughs> kidney transplant. Thank you very much for your question.